And today for my first video ever on YouTube, I am going to be reviewing this product that I got from Beauty and Brushes. I bought this hair from them uh, just over a month ago and I, I think it's time that I actually got a review out because I was looking online prior to purchasing this hair and realized I was very limited reviewers on this product. They are a, um, a Toronto brand and basically I said since I live in Toronto I might as well give them a try. They're also black owned which I am very ecstatic about. I know they have a few things in the works uh, coming out and this is not a promotional video in any way. I just want to talk about my experience experience and the hair. So on camera today I'm going to be styling the hair and going over my likes and dislikes and my overall experience. So first I'm going to start with my experience and then I'm going to style the hair. Um, when I first received my hair or I should say when I first decided to choose this company I was looking everywhere I was looking online for raw hair I wanted to ensure that I was getting the best hair so I did what any person would do in my position go to YouTube <laughs> I know that seems a little weird but after searching up raw hair in my in my Google search I said okay I've come to one decision I want raw hair I'm sick of the virgin hair I'm sick of getting plastic I'm sick of getting all these things where it's not assured so I went I took to Google searched in uh, raw hair I got I think one link was sent me to another link and then I came across their Instagram page and on their Instagram page I got a link to their website and I seen their website and I said okay I want to try this out it took me several months before I actually ordered I was gonna I was planning it about like spring of 2018 and then um, by the time it was my birthday 2018 I ordered for them which was a difference of I would say three to four months after getting the hair the first time um, which I received in this beautiful package right here so it comes into this package you know nice satin silk uh, interior I thought it was amazing it came with a card This basically describing who they are, what they do, and what they ensure to give us in terms of quality. When I got the first package, the frontal had hairs which were um, plastic, uh, which was mixed in with fibers, and I was confused because on their website, the hair said that it was 100% raw. Um, so I responded to them. I said, well, look, I got the hair not too long ago, and I was very disappointed in in the whole hair situation they said okay uh they would replace it um the replacement took about two weeks which was essentially said to be one and then from there i got the hair and i have some videos where i sent it to my friends and asked them like well uh this is the hair i received and what do you think of that the hair the bundles to the frontal was a little different the bundles were more curly and then the, the frontal was very loose curly at the at the ends and I wasn't very happy. So again, I reached out to them and I asked them to rectify the problem. They did that no problem. They also made an accommodation for me because the bundles I had originally ordered were the frontal was 16, 18, 20 and 22, 22 being my longest. They made an accommodation and gave me 18 20, 22, 24, which was okay, but initially that's not how long I wanted my hair to be. So going forth, we actually communicated a little bit more. I asked her like some of the products that she used on the hair because I really enjoyed how it smelled and how I got it the first time around. Uh, she told me that, no problem. Um, following that, I made a wig. I made a, this wig unit, what I'm wearing right now. Beautiful job, I have to say. I love the hair. I love everything about it, but I kept finding synthetic pieces within my bundles. I sent pictures to them. I said I reached out to them, asking them like, why is it that I'm ordering raw hair and I'm getting um, synthetic hair as if the hair was virgin hair as opposed to raw virgin hair? Um, I didn't get any response. I kind of took it that they either didn't read my email or they did not see it or they just chose not to um, respond being that I had already complained before, which was okay. I said fine. I let it go. So, you know, a month and going on a half into the, having the hair, I decided to 
you know, make a review to give people the, the, the real deal of thought. I, I find that not a lot of people actually tell you what they actually find in real hair. They just review a product. And because I spend my own money on this, because I, I put myself in a position to get raw hair because I want to be in the best hair that I can afford. And this hair did put me back a few hundred dollars. However, it um, it came, I got it around a time where they had a really decent sale. Um, decent in terms of like, it was probably like $20 off, possibly. And then I applied like this 15% discount, which was given to new subscribers, which I got it a little bit cheaper, maybe like $60 cheaper, which is a good deal. So overall, I probably saved about $100 to $150 off of my original my original purchase of getting the hair at regular price, which is decent. I paid in American dollars. This wasn't in Canadian dollars where it is, um, it will be a lot more, it would, it would be a lot less, sorry, if I was paying $500 Canadian as opposed to $500 US dollars trying to convert it into Canadian. Ugh, if you guys know conversion rates, then it's not always pleasant. Um, going forward, Moving forward from the review, I want to get into how I style this hair and make this hair manageable for me. So this is how my hair is, um, I think, a day after being co-washed. And it's not that bad. I'm sorry about the noise. There's a lot of construction going around in my, uh, my building and outside of my building. They're putting up a new condo, and I happen to face the side where the condo is going up. Ah, I got up. Anyways, um, my... <sighs> my rating of the hair is definitely an 8 on most days. I think if I look away from the problem areas, which is like the back of the nape or the frontal to bundle um, texture, I think it's an 8. The hair is amazing. Despite finding a few uh, synthetic pieces, I feel like the hair is okay on most days. On the bad days, I feel like the hair gets, it changes texture. Like, this is really straight in comparison to this part. And I know this is because it is closer to my skin. And I do produce a lot more heat at the back of my neck. However, the hair that is next to my face, like right here, for instance, doesn't change. I believe the bundle that I originally got, which I placed at the back, which is the longest one, was a little less curly as opposed to the other ones. That is my opinion. It can be different. Someone could get it differently where they don't get a lot of um, a lot of um, changing of texture. It was a different pattern, not a different texture. Oops, my bad. However, this hair does look like it could be considered, uh, the last bundle seems like it can be considered more of like a, a loose wavy texture as opposed to a deep curl, right? Because that's essentially what I wanted, a deep curl. So, and I got this hair in the Burmese texture, um, deep curly, um, so forth, so forth. I'll put it all down in the description box once I get a cut. So, um, basically, I would just take my wig off and wet it all the way through, not obviously into the roots, just through the ends, just to get that curl back. And I'll pass through either um, a brush right here or a comb depending on how much time I want to spend in my hair, or I would use my fingers once I have enough slick to the hair. So I'm just going to push my hair forward, and I'm going to have some jaw clips. And I'm going to just be separating the hair from the back. So you see, you can see the texture is a lot different from the texture up here. I have one of these water bottles. This is a pumped water bottle, and basically, the more you press it, it kind of builds up the pressure inside. Inside the pump, and then it just releases a constant spray until the pump has released enough pressure. So my hair right now is very tangled. I can't pass my finger through it easily. It is 
tangled but not matted. Thank goodness this hair, it tangles but it doesn't get too matte. I find that I had a lot of problem in terms of conditioning and shampooing at times. I find that the, the, the cuticles and the shaft kind of intertwine within each other and then you have like sleek hair but then you have like this this ball of tangles okay so I'm not gonna put too much just because I did wash my hair yesterday I just want to show you how the hair reverts to its natural form so this is more or less the curl you would get which I believe is not a deep curl I believe this is more like a loose curl right I'm just gonna aim it here make sure this is on tightly Okay, and right from there, I'm going to be putting on some conditioner, just not too much, and I'm just going to pass it along the shaft of the hair, just to get it a little saturated. I'm going to put a little bit more, just a little, I'm honestly not putting that much. And this conditioner is runny because I added water to it because I didn't want it to be complete thick consistency. And for now, I'm just going to finger the tangle because I want you to see how much, um, shedding I get if I take my fingers through it. The hair did not revert that much in all honesty again because as I said it is not that much of a deep curl texture and I you'll see as you get to the top of my my frontal you'll see the difference in what I mean okay and I'm just gonna do the next side really quickly okay so I'm just finishing up this side and it's looking amazing, just amazing. And again, when it's in this state, you really don't wanna to have to do too much for you. you kinda of want it to just uh, stay like this and dry. So I'm not gonna put any more liquid or anything. So just going back to what I said, you can see a little bit of the difference in the texture of the hair. <sighs> I'm not going to do this side too much. It's just that I want to uh, get through what, what is tangled and kind of leave it as is because it would be a whole lot to dry. And outside, it's in Canada right now, it is very, 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 sorry, there you go, cold or it's getting colder. So it's not as dry where the sun is out and it's going to be able to dry really quickly. Not at all. And I'm trying not to pull too hard just because I don't want it to be uh, puffy when it dries or to be, um, yeah, puffy, more or less puffy. Oh no, I just scratched my frontal. Right. So you can see the hair when it's wet for my frontal. It is very springy, very thing. You can see how this hair is when it's wet. And then when I just bring this forward, the curls are so different. Like, it's just different. And I just want someone who's gonna be honest about what's going on with their product. So this is how it's supposed to look, you know, a day after. It's wash day. Ooh. That's brilliant. I love it.
Okay, and I'm just gonna finger detangle just the bottom part. There's enough slip on my fingers where this is not, um, I feel like I'm not in focus. There I am. <laughs> I'm just looking down here because this is where my mirror is, or my mirrors are, I should say. I have a few of them. And I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna come back when it is completely dry and then I can talk to you about the hair more from there. You can see in the video, as I was finger detangling, there was no shedding coming out of the hair whatsoever because I was taking my time and I've kind of had this hair for a little bit so I kind of know how to work with it. However, I did have um, problems in terms of the texture uh, and when I say texture, um, I really mean the texture. I don't mean the texture as in the curl pattern. I don't mean in terms of like the, the, the viscosity of the hair. I mean legit the texture. The frontal hair and the bundle hair feel different. One feels a little bit more coarse and the other one feels more a little bit more fine. And that, of course, is the frontal feels more coarse and the bundles are a lot more silky. I don't know why that is, it just happened to be this way. This frontal, I had to very much so fight to and nail for, uh, for it from the, um, the Beauty and Brushes team. I also want to discuss just the natural look of it all. I really like to have my hair in this big puffy kind of uh, curly um, goddess look. Uh, hence why I did not do the whole soaking and the whole everything because I didn't want it to get sleek and then get um, dry and get puffy. I wanted to keep it a little bit puffy till now. The hair has dried about like 70%. So I can show you exactly what I was discussing with the difference in the texture. You can just see here the difference is drastic. Like you have loose waves and it starts to get really, really tight curls. Um, I'm very disappointed. Honestly, when I purchased this hair, I realized that I had already used it. So I decided, okay, I'm just going to go all the way with it. Having it for over a month, I'm, I'm disappointed. So I'm back. My hair is a little bit more dry. However, I, it's going to dry in, through this video. My heater is on and I just want to start off by showing you the difference in the curl. So again, this curl is more or less very loose compared to my frontal. It's not, you can see from here that the curl is different and this is all the frontal, right? It's different. It's just different. The hair is, the texture is different in the hair. The, the pattern is different in the hair and I mean, I get compliments on it, but that's not what really I spent my money on. It wasn't for the compliments, it's for the, <laughs> the pattern, right? The texture, the, the promise of getting something what I really desired. But um, aside from that, I enjoyed the company. I would probably purchase again from them only if I'm getting a specific pattern or texture. I would obviously go with the raw again. I would obviously go with um, something that is to my liking and hopefully the first time I order I get what I ordered rather than taking something um, as an accommodation which I did not spend or pay my money for. I felt if I wanted that accommodation which was given to me I would have spent the money on it rather than them having to give it to me based on something that they thought was up to par but when I got it it was not so um i hope you like my review please like sh share and subscribe i hope to see you in my next one and hopefully you can give me some comments and feedbacks on what you think bye